Joe Keitlinger, this is Comedy Central's Canned Ham, and I'm here with the stars of Dirty Work, Norm MacDonald and Artie Lang, and we're going to uh, talk a little bit about the movie and uh, play some hoops. Hey, Laura, check this out. Whoa! <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah, I actually got it! You're fired. He always gets back at the people that fired him. We should open a revenge for hire business. Norm McDonald, star of Dirty Work. <laughs> that makes you laugh. I know. Norm, this is your first feature. Yeah. So tell us about it a little bit. I fell in love with the script when I read it. Mm -hmm. And you also helped write it. I wrote it, yeah. You fell in love with your own writing then. Yeah. I hear you tell it. <laughs> okay, tell us about your character. My character is, uh, I play Mitch, mm -hmm. and um, he's a lot like me, you know, like he's, um, he looks like me. <laughs> Same weight, height. Whoa. He's in a, he's, he could be my identical twin. <laughs> Talks like me. I'm starting and, to think it's you. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. He's like a bad actor. <laughs> in the movie, I just go and get a bunch of jobs and that I'm not qualified for. Mm -hmm. And I used to do that in real life all the time. I just pretend that I could do stuff. Mm -hmm. And they'll believe you a lot of times and give you the job. And then you're like <laughs> in way over your head. The bottom stair is a round over. It does a 180 into the newel post. Bannister has a 90 degree easement and it dies into the inside face of the newel post. Ah, 90 degree easement. See, that's, uh, that's gonna be a problem. What's the problem? Well, we lied on a resume. We know nothing about construction. When is lunch? You're fired. So he uh, always gets fired from all these jobs. Yeah. And then, uh, so he always likes gets back at the people that fired him. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he eventually decides to make it a business. Yeah, it's about revenge. We, like, uh, get back at people for a living, like they want revenge, then we go and, mm -hmm. and uh, do it for hire, revenge for hire. Uh -huh. Fully loaded, V8 engine, standard. Shock-resistant CD player, standard. Hey, the trunk uh, looks kind of small there, Anton. This is live. I'm on live TV. Trunk's fine. As you can see, friend, it's not small. It's a big trunk. I'll show you right here. Well, you got a dead hooker in the trunk. What? No! It can't be. Yes, it was. It was a dead hooker. <laughs> hey, folks. Yeah, come on hey, down. Hey, here's another dead hooker in this that... trunk. What? Oh, my goodness. What are you doing? I've never seen so many dead hookers in all my life. Lord knows I have. Don't shoot this. This is not part of the commercial. Is some jerk making your life miserable? You want revenge? Call 555-0187. Let us do your dirty work. Now, you're with Artie Lang. Yeah, Artie Lang. Mm -hmm. Note to Sam, lose weight. Did, was there an audition process, or did you just say, uh, Norm. I've got to get Artie, or you said, I, I want Norm? I saw Artie uh, from Mad TV, uh -huh. and I really liked him, so I said, we got to get Artie. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And as soon as Chris Pan turned it down, <laughs> and Stephen Baldwin said no, and uh, a couple other guys with a weight problem, uh -huh. he called me up, and I was free. Hey, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Wait, now let me ask you something. In this movie, Go ahead. If I, I hope I'm not, you know, speaking out of school, you right. play kind of like, made it, well, like a sort of the overweight, not so bright friend. Yeah, I gained weight for this. Yeah, okay. I did, yeah. I didn't want to, I, 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 there's no polite way around No, it. I know. There, there, well, yeah, well, there actually is, but that's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, uh, yeah, I, I guess, yeah, I'm kind of the, the, the fat, dumb guy. No. It. No, I am, yeah, no, but that's, I... that's funny. And in the history of movies, that's like the funniest guy to be. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, movie line coming up.
he was supposed to keep driving. You know, we start a revenge business and do some, some cute little tricks on people. And, uh... and now, is this something that you've wanted to do in your own life? Yeah, I, I've always wanted to get revenge on people, uh, especially kid, people I went to school with. You know? uh -huh. In high school, I was, you know, I was like, sort of like very smart and good looking, and people picked on me because yeah. of that. Well, you say know? right now who you want to get revenge on. Just say it right now, because if you're watching this. Uh, I probably want to get revenge on uh, Dan McGrath. Yeah. If he's out there. He's actually a cop right now in New Jersey. Yeah, hear that, Dan? Okay. So, you know, if I get the chance, I'm going to do that. Okay. <laughs> I think you got him right Mentioning now. Mentioning him on Candam is probably enough. That was really funny, sticking the cops on us like that. Yeah. Really? I thought it was funny, but I'm surprised you guys did because uh, you got your asses kicked. Okay, what do you think the best revenge is? The best revenge mm -hmm. is uh, um, living well. <laughs> <laughs> no, I read that somewhere. I know, but what oh. I'm asking you. Oh, oh. Uh, I guess the best revenge is uh, where you you get a, some uh, some like that dog crap and put it in a bag and then light it on a dude's front porch. No, it's living well. Have you ever done that? <laughs> <laughs> it's living well and dog shit. In the yeah, it's a tie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You are the king of revenge. Right now, me and Artie and Laura are going to play a game, a basketball game. It's called Whore. It's like horse, except it's whore. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, right. All right. This is for a W. Yeah. All right. Woo! Wow. <laughs> I got a W, right? W. <laughs> so Norm's got W. We'll be right back uh, with the exciting conclusion of this, this boring game to this exciting <laughs> game. It's the boring conclusion of this exciting game with Norman Hardy. <laughs> Destroying Norm McDonald and Laura Kindlinger. Norm, any words on that? No. Okay. Why don't you girls go hit the shower? Absolutely. <laughs> Bob Saget directed this. He was uh, he was a guy like when I was a young boy, I went the first comedian I ever saw was Saget. Oh wow. And uh, he was like real kind of dark, like uh, weird comic, wow. you know. And so then uh, I kept telling everybody like he's a funny guy. No one would believe me because mm -hmm. he's on those shows. And, uh, but then uh, we got him, and he was like really, really funny. He's a good director. I'm really happy with this movie. I think it's really funny. I've seen it over a thousand times. Oh my God. And I had to pay every time I saw it, so. Really? All my salary's gone. Take grand, right? Was it in Toronto because it's cheaper to shoot it there? No, uh, movies are, uh, uh, I believe, 26% funnier if they're shot in Toronto. Oh, okay. It's the exchange rate on comedy. Oh. It's actually a funny premise. Two guys open a revenge for hire business because one of them needs $50,000 to get his father, Jack Warden, a heart transplant. And the doctor is played by Chevy Chase, who needs $50,000 right away because bookies are going to kill him because he owes them money. Come back, sit down. I'm sorry. I'm a compulsive gambler. Now, I I know there's really nobody to blame for this but myself. Well, I don't know, maybe the Buffalo Bills, the Boston Red Sox, or Mr. T, or, or the Jets. Wait a minute, Mr. T, are you telling me that you bet on the fight in Rocky Three and that you bet against Rocky? Hindsight is 20-20, my friend. The point is, I, I'm in trouble. Deep trouble, which could be good for Mr. McKenna's father. You see, there is a way I can get his name bumped to the top of the list, and he can get his heart. How? If you pay me $50,000. Did you say $50,000? No. I whispered $50,000. So it's an amazing cast. Yeah, they're really, really funny guys. Like, I always wanted, because when I was growing up, like Chevy Chase, saw him as my favorite guy, mm -hmm. Saturday Night Live. Yeah. So, uh, it was really cool to have him in. No, what the? Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> what was that bump? 
<laughs> was that funny? And then uh, uh, Jack Warden was always my uh, favorite, like, old dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's, like, tough, you know? He's yeah. like a tough old bird. If that stethoscope is as freezing cold as it was yesterday, I'm gonna shove it right up your ass. Oh, he was in World War II and stuff, mm -hmm. and he's like a man. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, like, us guys nowadays. And we're like, you know, yeah, we're not like men. actor men. Yeah, we're like no. ladies. <laughs> Don Rickles is in it. I, I became friendly with Don Rickles. I love Don Rickles. Mm -hmm. He's only there for a day, but he, but, um, but it's, it was a long day. And he, uh, he left me a message on my, at my office. It was very funny to get a message from him. And he goes, and he's like, you have to hit like two a pound or three in pound. Mm -hmm. You know all that voicemail kind of <laughs> yeah. stuff. And he goes, Bob Don Rickles. <laughs> He said, I don't know how your Jew spaceship works, so I didn't know what to hit on your voicemail. Uh, I miss you, Bob. Please call me, because I, I miss you. Wow. Don Rickle. Right now, I'm going to explain to you my managing style for the benefit of the new guys. <laughs> so there you are, Tubby. Ah, you look like a bucket of lard on a bad day. You baby gorilla. Why don't you work a zoo and stop bothering? Got a call yesterday from Baskin Robbins. They said that they're down to only five flavors. You're swelling up as I talk to you. Look at you. How's this? How's it doing? <laughs> Hello, ice cream. Having a good time? <laughs> Running around? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Because I called your friend the fat pig, huh? You think that's funny? Oh, no. I was just laughing uh, earlier when you were talking to his belly. Did you get a horse and live in the mountains someplace and don't bother anybody? Got a personality like a dead moth. There's a lot of people in it. We had uh, uh, Chris Farley in it, mm -hmm. and uh, some other cameos, some surprise cameos, and we had we had fun with Chris. Say, listen, pal. Do you ever need anything? I mean, anything at all. You come to me. Can I stay at your place tonight? Well, see, the thing is this. I uh, I live over at the Y, as you know. Um. I got a roommate, old Jack, who is a little particular when it comes to strangers. Oh, yeah. Well, no problem, Jimmy. Thanks. He just got his knee drained last week. Uh, that's all right. I'll find another place. All right. He needs it, too. That thing was getting a little bit right. <laughs> yeah, I get the picture. Maybe I'll just sleep in my car. Old Jack's an odd duck, I tell you. Um, many times I catch him staring at me sleeping, which is off. Yeah, I guess it would be, yeah. His feet bleed. I don't want to stay at your place! Point taken. Point taken, Mitch. Okay, this is a fastball competition. We each get three balls, and this gun over here gauges our arm, you know, to tell how fast we are at pitching. So let's go. Bam! Zero, nothing. Nothing. He got nothing. Did you... He hurt his arm on a zero. That wasn't a zero. Yeah, a zero. How could that be a zero? It wasn't even on. Zone. You missed the strike zone. It wasn't on? You missed the strike zone. <laughs> three pitches, although Artie feels he was robbed off the first one. Norm had 127, Artie had 126, and I had 82. I win. You I, guys are the losers. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. No, I won. So, Norm, in this movie, Trailer Howard plays your love interest. Yeah, yeah. She's a girl that I like, and... Um, she's great. Yeah, she's a nice girl. She's sweet and nice. And then the idea is, like, I really like her. You know you guys fall in love with girls. Mm -hmm. so it's I've like, heard about it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of like, I fall in love with her. Uh -huh. Now you're famous for being a jerk. Now, Trailer, you were one of, well, actually, probably the only w woman yes. that was alive in this film, <laughs> because uh, the other women were dead in trunks. Right. So is that added pressure? <laughs> and I'm alive. I've well, got to really... <laughs> yeah. I usually, before the uh, hookers came on, the guys would talk to me and flirt with me. <laughs> and then as soon as we got to all the hooker stuff, I was like, nothing. Uh, no one talked to me. Did you ever think, well, boy, this would be a great idea. I'd love to, like, hire someone to get revenge. Yeah, revenge is always a good thing. It would be, it would be a, a hop in business, don't you think? Is there any revenge that you like tried to get uh, while you were on the set or I mean did you try to play any practical jokes on any of the other people? Oh I just or? teased them, told oh, them okay. I'd have sex with them and then I didn't. 
Yeah, that's the best revenge. Yeah, isn't it? Mildred! Hey, Mildred! Mildred, wait up! Oh, hi, Miss. Hi, Mildred. I, I guess you forgot my name. It's not Mildred, it's Kathy. Oh, no, I didn't forget. You never told me, so I just guessed. Oh, <laughs> that's a novel approach. Chris McDonald was like, he's like this super handsome dude. Mm -hmm. And uh, he played the mean, the bad guy. Oh, right, yeah, he was and He great. was like really handsome and mean <clears throat> and uh, funny. Because sometimes you think, hey, I'm a pretty good looking dude. But then you see one of those actually handsome guys. You know what I mean? I don't usually compare myself with other men. <laughs> this is Chris McDonald, one of the stars of Dirty Work. Chris? Mm. Laura, I love you. You send me. <laughs> so, Chris, tell us a little bit about your character. My character, uh, Travis mm. Cole. Mm hmm. Bad guy. Travis Cole is the sex object of the piece. I'd never done frontal nudity, and I thought, if I'm ever going to do it, mm -hmm. do it now. I'm still pretty cut up. You know? I'll say. Travis Cole's rich. He's a benefactor of the community. He's wealthy. You see, there's a small walk-up building I own over at 99 Franklin Street. It's low-income housing, my way of giving back to the community. But much to my chagrin, a criminal element has reared its ugly head in the form of drug dealers, gangs, even a house of prostitution. I'm telling you, he's doing that, dog. Why don't you just get the cops to get him out? It's not that simple. As long as those criminals keep paying their rent on time, the police say I have no grounds to evict them. Well, what do you want us to do? What I want you to do is get the building condemned. I don't know. I mean, we've never done anything this big before. Gentlemen, let me give you a minute to think it over. I mean, Mitch, doesn't it seem like... By the way, you're right. He's definitely doing that dog. Yeah, I had a, a co-star smoking my dog, my chihuahua, who shakes a lot. Mm -hmm. The dog and I got along famously. I could do anything with it. He like, kept on throwing the dog on the ground. No, trailer, that's what I didn't want. <laughs> I can't... the dog. I know. <laughs> on <the> no! <laughs> well, I think that's everything. All right. Okay, this is the final competition of the day, and it, as you can see, is the most grueling because we've got to smoke and drink to get through it. Bats, how about you and me shoot a game of pool? Wrap them, Willie. You're going to break? Yes. Are you breaking? Yeah. Oh, my God! I can't lose. Fast and loose. Fast and loose. Get off me, Laura. I don't got it. Yes. I win because he sunk the, the eight ball. I win. Wow, we have a winner. We win another game. So, Norm, is this a dick flick? <laughs> As opposed to a chick flick? Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know. It's both. It's, yeah, it's a guy movie mostly, yeah. you know. All, all the ladies will like it, too. Oh, yeah, I think the so. Ladies, people of all stripes will like it, you know? Do you have uh, something to show us? Yeah, I have a clip I brought along. <laughs> <laughs> from the motion, you want to pop picture. it in? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, this is a clip from the uh, film. Mm -hmm. We did a uh, film, and uh, <laughs> this is a clip from that film. Mm -hmm. And it's entitled Dirty Work. The film's entitled Dirty Work, yeah. Well, Mitch, looks like we got ourselves a fight, huh? Great, it's fighting time. Can I be on their side? Looks like there's gonna be a brawl. You playing something good? Hell yeah! Rolling Stones, street fighting man, G. Stephon! You just hit G8. If you like Gina Colada, bring it on! Oh. Hey, how come you get a pool cue? to fight. Sorry about a Cadillac. I bought a Cadillac with oh. the money from the movie. Really? Yeah. Did I, you really? I spent all of it on a Cadillac. That's fantastic. Yeah, I got a Cadillac. <laughs> huh? Who buys a Cadillac? An old Jew, actually, <laughs> and you're Catholic. Am I allowed to say oh, that? Oh, am I allowed to 
old Catholics, Italian guys drive Cadillac. Yeah. I'm from New Jersey, and that's like the biggest status symbol to have a Cadillac. Wow. You're telling me if you saw me in a bar and we started talking and I told you I had a Cadillac, you wouldn't be turned on by that? I'm turned on by it right now. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> and Norm, what about you? What did you buy with uh, your money, uh, with your dirty work money? <laughs> I like the land, you know, and Artie's more like a city dude. Yeah. Yeah, Nor Norm likes getting out in there and So are you going to buy a piece of land? I would love Settle to buy down. land. I mean, that's, I always like, I like the idea of, like on the uh, Bonanza show, where you can get on your horse and ride for like three days and you're still on your land. I was just thinking when someone says, I would love to buy land, you know, it's an interview that's basically in the <laughs> Great day of hackers, hitters, tons. It's been, it's been a lot. It's actually been a lot of fun, right? Yeah, it was. Oh, and yeah. you know, uh, I have to say, uh, Norm uh, won. You know, yeah. two out of three. And oh, so uh, yeah, I guess, I guess so. I mean, I saw it a little differently, but uh, no, I know. Right, well, you know, these things are never fair, are they? No, they're not. Life yeah. isn't fair. It isn't. No. no. Uh, so Norm, this is your trophy. Oh, thanks, man. That's great. And you've also won uh, oh, the South Park oh, hat. He, he wins that. Okay. And I get the trophy. And look at the coin. Look at the gold. Oh, this is the, cool. the gold. I'm going to keep this. This so, is Artie Lang. It's been a good day. And Norm McDonald's. Go see their movie Dirty Work. It's great, buddy. Yeah. Stay tuned for The Daily Show. Every day we spin the news and then you turn around and blame the media for all your problems. <laughs> it's a thankless world. like this. How you got this movie, I'll never know.